This is Olbermann versus Trump, and I'm not Trump. The crazy lawyer Sidney Powell was at the White House again late Monday afternoon. She was there Sunday night, and as you know, she was there last Friday. The other crazy lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, was also there Monday, though Giuliani afterwards disavowed Powell. And per Politico, spotted in the West Wing, Representative-elect Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia, the racist QAnon lady, and Congressman Jim Jordan, Mo Brooks, Andy Biggs, Louis Gohmert, Scott Perry, and Matt Gates, or as they are collectively known, living proof of Dunning-Kruger syndrome. Which flavor of coup is this? The martial law coup, or the rerun the election coup, or the special Kraken Council coup, or the military takeover coup, or the Rudy isn't wearing pants coup? The only information we yet have is a New York Times report that on Sunday, this lunatic Sidney Powell was again demanding the White House seize all the voting machines, even as the Dominion and Smartmatic voting machine companies have so put the legal fear of God into the bullshit Newsmax and OAN and Fox networks that they made Lou Dobbs and Maria Bartiromo and the others read detailed retractions that looked like hostage videos. Regardless, no matter how much of this remains a Trump money scam, in his madness, Trump has come to believe he really won and is a martyr, and people as proactively stupid as Powell and Gates and the QAnon lady would not be hard to convince of this. Again, whatever Trump is planning, whatever Giuliani and Gates and Jordan and the other scum have signed on to, it is imperative that the president-elect make a statement that these meetings are seditious that they constitute a conspiracy to overthrow the government, and that as of January 20th, the Justice Department will investigate and will prosecute them. Only fear works with bullies. It works well. Ask Lou Dobbs and Bartiromo and OAN. This is an attempted coup. It is treason. Trump, Brooks, Jordan, Powell, Giuliani, and the others must know that they have placed their careers, indeed their freedom from prison, at total risk. Enough.